Hello everyone. Today's question is valid palindrome. The question says that we are given a string and we have to determine if it is a palindrome. And the string only consists of alphanumeric characters and we have to ignore the uppercase or lowercase. And for this problem, an empty string is a valid palindrome. So if you see in example number one, we are given the input a man, a plan, a canal and Panama. And we have to check if this string is a valid palindrome. So if you remove all the spaces and the special characters, this string is indeed a palindrome. So the output is true. And in example number two, we are given the input race a car. For this string, if you remove the spaces, it does not form a palindrome. So the output is false. So let's first see the explanation and then we will see the code. So the first thing that we need to know is what is a palindrome? A palindrome is a word, phase or sequence that reads the same backwards as forwards. So for example, we have this string Nitin. When I reverse this string, I get Nitin. So these two strings are identical and that's why they are a palindrome. So for our question, it is given that we will be given alphanumeric characters. That means we will be given alphabets as well as digits. So let's take an example. Let's say we have a string S and in this string we have some numbers, we have some alphabet, some extra characters like this comma and a space. So looking at the string, the first thing that we need to do is we have to filter this string in such a way that we have to remove all these characters, we have to remove the spaces and we need to convert the uppercase alphabets to lowercase alphabets. So for this string, the result will be, and when this string is reversed, this is what we get. And both of these strings are identical. And that's why it's a palindrome. So we will return true. Let's see another example. So I've taken the first example from the question. We have some uppercase alphabets, some spaces, some extra characters like this comma and this colon. And the first thing that we need to do is filter out this string. So after removing all the spaces, all the special characters and converting the uppercase alphabets to lowercase, we get this result. And after reversing the string, when we compare them, both of them are identical. So this is a palindrome and we will return true. Let's take the second example from the question. Race a car. So after removing the spaces from this string, this is what we get. And when we reverse this string and compare them, these two are not identical. So we will return false. So let's see what we have so far. We need to do these things to filter out the strings, reverse the string and then compare both of the strings. So we have to remove the space. We have to remove any character which is not an alphabet or a number. We have to convert all the uppercase alphabets to lowercase alphabets. Then we will reverse the string and compare those strings. After comparing, we are going to return true or false. So that was the logic. Now let's see how we can implement it. So I've taken this string for example, in which I have some numbers, some alphabets, uppercase alphabets, some special characters and some spaces. So first we will filter out this string. And for that I'm going to use a for loop. In the beginning, I have initialized an empty string and using a for loop for i in my string s, I am going to check the condition that if my i is l num, then in that case, I will add this i to my res and while adding, I will convert it into lowercase. So I have two functions in this for loop. The first one is is lnum and the second one is lower. So what is lnum does is it will check whether the i is either an alphabet or a number. And if the i is alphabet or a number, then it will get added to the rest string. And while being added, it will be converted to lowercase alphabets. So let's see, in the for loop, first we come to 0, we check if 0 is, is lnum, 
since it is a number it will be added to the rest string so my rest will look something like this next we come to p again since p is an alphabet it will get added to rest next we come to this comma and since this comma is neither an alphabet nor a number it will be removed next we have this space again space is neither an alphabet nor a number so we will not add that into our res next we come to this capital a now this capital a is an alphabet and while being added it will be converted to lower case alphabet so we have an a next we come to b we add our b we come to a we add our a next we come to this comma and this comma is not added again we come to this space the space is not added next we come to p so we add our p and at last we add a zero so this is the string that we get after filtering the a string now the second thing that we need to do is reverse the string and compare both of the strings so we will compare the res with the reverse of this res string i will add this condition to reverse my res string since minus 1 index means that i am fetching the last index of my rest string so if this condition is true then i am going to return true and that is the answer and if this is not true it will return false so this is one way of checking if a string is a valid palindrome or not but we have one more efficient way to check the strings without reversing the complete string so in our case this string is really small but what if we have a really really wrong string in that case we do not have to reverse it instead what we can do is we can have two pointers one from the starting of the string and one from the ending of the string so let's say this is my left pointer and this is my right pointer i will check the values at both of these pointers and if they are equal i will move my pointers forward so let's see how this works so i have my string s what i'm going to do is let's say i have two pointers my left pointer and my right pointer i will compare the values at both of these pointers so the values is currently zero and since both are equal i will move my pointer forward and now it comes to p after moving the pointer again i will compare the values since both of them are p and both of them are equal again i will move my pointer forward i reach to a again i will check the condition if they are both equal or not since both of them are equal i will move my pointer forward and now both of my left and right pointers point to b again i will check the condition if the values at both of my pointers are equal or not since both of them pointed b they have the same value and hence this string is a true palindrome and i will return true so let's see how we can implement that so my n is the length of my string s my left pointer is at zero index and my right pointer is at n minus 1 index which is the last index next i am going to use a while loop while the value of l is smaller than the value of r i will perform a function and the function is that if the value at l index is not equal to the value at r index then i am going to return false but if they are equal then i will move forward my l pointer by 1 and i will move backward my r pointer by 1 so what we mean is in the beginning my left pointer points at 0 and my right pointer points at the last index i compare these two and i will check if they are not equal if they are not equal i can simply return false but if they are equal my left pointer moves forward and my right pointer moves backward so in our case both the values are equal and my l reaches this p and my r also reaches this p again i will check the values since both of them are equal my pointers will move forward my l will now come to a and my r also comes to a again i will check the same condition since both of them are equal my left and right pointers now come at b again i will check for the condition and both of them are equal but this time my left pointer will not move forward because the value of l needs to be smaller than r and when both of the pointer pointed the same index 
This means that we have reached the middle of the string and our search is complete. After the search is complete, I am going to return true. And that was the answer. So that was the explanation. Now we will see the code. In the meanwhile, please give this video a thumbs up. This really motivates us to make more videos and helps us to grow. Now let's see the code. So in the beginning, I have initialized my rest string, which is currently empty. Next, I'm going to for loop for i in my string s. If i is lnum, then I will add my i into my res. And while adding, I will make sure that it is a lowercase alphabet. Next on line number 9, n is equal to the length of my string res. L is my left pointer, which is currently 0. And r is my right pointer, which points at the last index, which is equal to n minus 1. Next on line number 13, I am using a while loop. While my l is smaller than my r, which means my left pointer is smaller than my right pointer, I am going to check a condition that if the value at my left pointer is not equal to the value at my right pointer, in that case I am going to return false. But if that is not the case, which means both of the values are equal, then I am going to move forward my left pointer by 1 and I am going to move backward my right pointer by 1. At the end, when all of the values are equal, I am going to return true. So that was the code. I will now submit it. And the code was accepted. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.